The Andhra Pradesh government is gearing up to develop and launch a 50-acre quantum valley in its upcoming capital, Amaravati, as it looks to be a front-runner in the space of quantum technology, not just in India, but across the globe. And this is one of the many other initiatives that the government wants to take on the front of technology to develop the state of Andhra Pradesh, especially Vishakapatnam and Amaravati, as the next big tech hubs after Hyderabad, Bengaluru and the likes. This also marks one year of the formation of the Andhra Pradesh government under the leadership of the now Chief Minister, Mr. N. Chandra Babu Naidu. Now, to discuss the vision that, he, uh, that the state has when it comes to quantum technology and in terms of what the one year has looked like, I'm joined by the Chief Minister, Mr. Chandra Babu Naidu. Sir, thank you so thank much you. for speaking to CNBC thank TV 18. You. It's an ap absolute pleasure, especially at a time where you've completed one year uh, at the government. But let's start talking about by talking about the Quantum Valley uh, mission. You know, I've heard uh, you talking to the executives earlier as well. And uh, what has been spoken before. So what I understand is about the, fir uh, the first phase will start about the on the 1st of Jan 2026. Can you start off by telling me what's your vision in terms of what this will do, especially for the governance uh, and for governments as well? I, I believe that's a very unique position you want to take. No, it is very... One word I can say. Mm -hmm. It is one more leapfrog development in information technology. Right. I started iTech City to promote information technology exactly three decades back. Right. Today, quantum valley mm -hmm. for quantum computing and also artificial intelligence. Yeah. AI. This is the order of the day. Mm -hmm. I want to create an ecosystem for quantum computing. Right. Then that will be the future and also start uh, backward, forward integration, how to write algorithms, academic uh, excellence, mm -hmm. and also players I want to bring, right. industry right. and governments and uh, companies to take forward and also institutions of excellence, mm -hmm. IIT Chennai, IIT Tirupati and mm -hmm. other leading institutions right. how to build this ecosystem. So this is going to be a PPP model, right? So what is the government going to offer and what are the companies that have already come forward and what are they going to build? No, I am giving land. Mm -hmm. Government also will be a partner mm -hmm. to this ecosystem we wanted to take Amazing. to the logical. These 50 acres of land, land is not the constraint. Mm -hmm. In Hyderabad, originally I gave piece of land for iTech city. Mm -hmm. That was the first mover mm -hmm. where we started information technology. Today here, TCS and also IBM and also LNT. Mm -hmm. They are all consortium. They are working together. Now Microsoft also is coming back. Today we had a discussion. They want to start quantum computing here. Right. So this is the new area, lot of encouragement and also so many people are curious mm -hmm. and everybody is working now. Now everybody, industry is thinking how to use for their operations, mm -hmm. either uh, pharmaceutical companies, even in biotechnology, even other industries, logistics, everybody is working now. Right. Now, we, I created a thinking for, uh, very clearly. Everybody is thinking, what is quantum computing? Mm -hmm. How it is going to help them mm -hmm. for their uh, industry or academic excellence? Right. So, so many areas we are working. Right. I wanted tomorrow we are having a conference. We are going to declare Amaravati Declaration mm -hmm. tomorrow evening. By January 1st, we are going to start first quantum computing center in Amaravati. Right. This is the first of its kind in India. As you are aware, aware India is very strong in information technology. Yep. That was first more advantage in 1995. Now quantum computing, we are taking first more advantage again. Right. This will be game changer 
you are going to see the change another 10 to 15 years time mr naidu i want to talk to you about you know one year of you com uh, you know completing one year as a chief minister after such a historic win as things stand today what would you define have been the biggest achievements for you uh, in the past year andhra pradesh brand mm -hmm. during my tenure was very strong mm -hmm. for the last 5 years they destroyed the brand of founder place they made all institutions defunct and also andhra pradesh state is in financial doldrums yeah. 10 lakh crores credit and no investment has come these are all the problems we are facing now within one year time out of 95 centrally sponsored schemes i was able to revive nearly 87 88 then at the same time 12 percent growth we are able to achieve first year first year i came to government june mm -hmm. it is calculating march to yeah. april we are able to reach 12 percent growth rate and also we are able to attract 9 lakh 50 9 lakh 90 thousand crores worth of mvus right one year we are able to ground 5 lakh crores right we are going to create 4.5 lakh employment you name any brand now starting with tata google rcr metal bpcl adani ambani jindal birla and everybody is in lng right everybody has come to andhra pradesh right that is the biggest achievement you know these industries and these companies that you are talking about what are the kind of incentives that you are offering across industries you know to bring in more investments and make the state more competitive compared to a hyderabad or other cities no generally original hyderabad 25 years back nothing was there yeah that was barren land mm -hmm. I started with high tech city then I promoted one by one all over the world not only information technology I promoted genome valley mm -hmm. I promoted pharmaceuticals mm -hmm. then I promoted the uh, financial district service sector today either Telangana service sector contribution of C for GSTP 50, 67% highest in the country. Even Andhra Pradesh, 46%. So that is the foundation I laid. Outer Ring Road, yeah. Airport, yeah. and Gachiboli, Itex City. These are all the areas we built. Because of that, now they are getting very good income also. Same thing we are developing Amravati today. So Visakhapatnam also. Mm. And Tirupati. These are all the areas where we are having excellent advantages. Ultimately, if you give land also, people won't come. The confidence of the government mm -hmm. and also credibility of the government is important. That we are establishing. That's why TCS has come, Cognizant has come, Google has come, RCR Mithal has come. All these industries they started now right right only green energy we are going 10 lakh crores investment you know a lot of these ambitions that you talk about that you want to build uh, in andhra pradesh uh, you know you have also said in the past that when you took over you didn't start at zero you actually started at minus and a lot of these ambitions that you have require a lot of capital expenditure how are you going to look at that you know especially when the state is reeling at a debt of about 10 lakh crores um, how are you going to finance this no all mega projects always i used to dream mm -hmm. i used to conceive not small projects mm -hmm. now 95000 crores bpcl i clinched it they are going ahead i give best incentives even i have given this uh, rcr metal 1 lakh crores or first phase 65 next phase another 78000 crores so everything we are going in a mega scale mm -hmm. and also we are giving incentives 
if they start the industry then employment will come mm. then they will pay gst in turn i have to pay back incentive incentive mm. it is linked with the gst and their incentive okay ultimately outgo will be la- not uh, totally i will get some money for building ecosystem and revival of ecosystem but this week yours to realize right so in the interim interim what i'm saying tomorrow they will start the project mm. i will get gst okay fair enough then it is a always development should take place wealth has to be created in the process government will get revenue mm-hmm. and revenue can be re utilized for development again welfare it is a cycle correct without wealth what can you do fair some people will do only welfare mm. that is where i am saying from the beginning they don't have any right to distribute welfare without creating wealth got it it's an absolute pleasure for thank speaking you. to you thank you thank so you. much thank you very nice